dearest valued clients, this video is instructional on how to do a stool test from Genova, the 2200 profile. Now this is a three day stool collection kit. So you're gonna have to poop in something and collect samples from it for three days. And if you know, you're not pooping every day, it's all good, just collect them as you are supposed to, follow the instructions, put them in the vials, exactly how the instructions that are included in the kit tell you, and refrigerate your poop samples. Just make sure that it does not get put placed next to the Hershey's syrup container in your fridge because you don't want your kids mistaking it for something else. Ice cream sundae, I don't think so. Anyway, just make sure they're somewhere safe. Um, and these little thingies that they're going to include for you in the kit, this is what they're telling you that, that you can poop into and collect your stool sample from. Now, what I like to do is I like to just, you know, it's kind of like a joke you used to play on your friends when you were in college. You place some plastic wrap over the toilet and then just kind of push it down just a little bit so that when you go to the bathroom, it gets caught right there. That's the way I like to do it anyway. Or if you guys are uh, in the medical field, I work with a lot of doctors and a lot of health professionals who already have a little, you know, the poop pans, or if you want to use one of your kids' little, you know, potties, then you could use that too. So whatever works for you guys, I don't use these, I use them for nachos. Just kidding, I don't eat nachos either. So whatever works, um, but the plastic thing seems to work best for me and a lot of our clients and patients have said that it works best for them too. So just cover that bottom, you know, take the toilet seat, open it up, place plastic over the toilet bowl, push it down just gently enough so that when you go to the bathroom, it gets collected on that. And then you'll wanna scoop from that with the little scoopers that are included inside of this kit and you're gonna place them in the appropriate containers that are listed for day one, and then day two, and then day three has the most amount of containers. There's five different ones that you're gonna collect from different parts of the stool. And then of course, there's a questionnaire inside of here. It's gonna ask you what your what your stool samples were like for that day, if they were runny or if they were you know hard or whatever the case. So you wanna note that inside, place that form inside the box when you're done, and then put it in the appropriate um, hazard, biohazard bag, and then send it to FedEx. Again, you don't want to um, send it on a Saturday. You want to make sure that it reaches the overnight shipment cutoff for Friday. So these are all what the vials look like on inside. This is the very last day. Make sure that it is the three day that you're selecting. So when you uh, have your specimen for, or when you have your requisition form on here, you're going to check this very, I mean, all these things, like I said, should be checked off for you, but you want to make sure that you double check. It's a 2200 full stool sample and just go through this to make sure it's all checked off for you. You don't want to check this bottom stuff off, just the, the top one. And then include your insurance card information, place all of this in the box. On the front page, it asks for stool consistency as well. And then inside of the instructions, uh, it tells you, like I said, to refrigerate your specimens. It also does tell you that you want to send these within 48 hours of collection. So if you collect it on the last day, like on Friday, Monday's um, okay. So if you, if that just happens to be the last stool that you get and you can't get it until after, you know, three o'clock PM on Friday and you lose the FedEx cutoff, no worries, Monday's fine. So um, let's see. The digestive enzymes, probiotics, antifungals, and things like that, just make sure that you're away from those for two, three days. On the first video that you guys probably already watched on what to do for all of these different uh, kits, just stay away from supplements for about four days unless they're absolutely necessary because we just don't want to trump the test results. And then all the other instructions should be in here. I have these notes to make sure I didn't miss anything for you guys. Um, refrigerate samples, ship collections within 24 or 48 hours, did that, saran wrap. All right, that's it. So just three stool sample collections. And if you guys have any questions, call Genova. The 1-800 number is listed on each one of the requisition forms. And I'll have the results for this within uh, two weeks.